look a hot mess. Don't even say nothing. So, would it be a, a video on my channel if I was not recording in the car? I feel like because I'm recording in the car, I'm getting back to my old videos. I like talking to y'all in the car. The car is so boring. Anyway, so right now I'm running errands. Um, this morning, what did I do this morning? Last night, I did not go to sleep at all. Now, granted, I did. I tried to get a sweet tea at Burger King, and they had like this much in the cup. She was like, what else you want? And so I was like, I want a half cup, half Dr. Pepper. They usually don't prevent me from going to sleep. But last night, I did not go to sleep at all. Arpit was up wide open. I was up wide open. And, well, not wide open. I was like that. But, and I also took my medicine late. That's another thing. But we went to sleep at like two. I went to sleep at two o'clock in the morning. I went to sleep maybe one. And I had took some pain medicine because I've been having issues with my foot, not because of my surgery, but because of my horrible feet. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. And then um, I actually have my alarm set for RP. Even though I don't have to be up to seven o'clock, I have to start my alarms at four. So basically, I slept from two o'clock to four o'clock, and getting up was the pits. And when I got up, it was seven o'clock, seven thirty on the dot. And Arp is supposed to be on the bus at seven thirty-five. And it's a new school year, so I, I wasn't sure if she had the same bus driver, but I found out she actually do have the same bus driver she had last year, and I have his number. And so I was like, okay, we gonna go, cause he usually leave out seven forty-five. Like even if he get there seven thirty-five, he he'll wait ten minutes. And so I was like, okay, we just gonna try to make it. I knew Arp was gonna be knocked out to the world sleep. And so she woke up horrible. Cause I don't even wanna talk about Arp right now cause I, I'm gonna sit with her. And the attitude. And so I got her in the car and got her on the bus. He was there waiting, he was about to pull off. He was there waiting. And I said, ah, oh. I said I was gonna go back home and lay down until my meeting, which I had a meeting at nine o'clock. Why, when I got there, I was wide awake. Like, I was like, okay, I need something to do. Like, I need to go to bed. Why are you not wanting to take a nap right now? So I started getting, I started playing my game on my phone. I was like, I'm just gonna watch TV whatever and just sit here and rest until nine o'clock when my meeting was fell asleep ten like ten minutes to the meeting I fell asleep so when I woke up it was like nine twenty I was like oh crap so well it wasn't that no it wasn't even nine twenty you know what my meeting was at ten so I was gonna wake up at nine thirty to make sure I wasn't late waking up late so I fell asleep like ten minutes to 9.30, so 9.20, and I woke up at 10.20, I was like, oh crap, so anyway, long story short, it was fine, did my little meeting, it was like over at 11, right at 11, my counseling meeting started, I haven't been to my counselor since, that's the one I go drive to go see, and I, we've been doing virtual appointments too, in between, I haven't been to see him since May. I, I don't even think we did. We didn't even do virtual appointments for the summer because I was so freaking busy with herpes stuff and trying to keep up busy and all that. So, <gasps> see, I'm sleeping now. And so, um, I met with him, caught him up on everything I really had going on this summer. The summer was crazy. And that's another reason I haven't been updating on here for real because. So, to keep up with all of our beats activities and to keep everybody in the loop, so everybody's invited to everything, everybody sees what's going on with her every week, because everybody always want to know, I made a private Facebook group, right? So, I put everybody in the group so I can post in there and everything in there and boom, done, gone. Everybody notified. So, this Facebook group, though... Some people is not allowing me to invite. I don't want that my whole friends list invited who I feel like should be on the list because I'm not one of the people that's going to post my baby business on my main page because I know some lurkers on this, some haters on that, all that. Because I got people that's on my Facebook. This is the same Facebook that I had since I was in 
high school. So I probably started in 07. I still got every, a lot of, well, I went and deleted, you know, a lot of people. But I still got like 5,000 friends on Facebook. So, uh-uh. And I already have issues with my baby daddy watching these videos on the internet. But anyway, that's another story for another day. And um, so I have to up I update that at least once a week, if not every other day. So that's like another thing I gotta update all the time. And then I try to keep her. I'm trying to keep her um gymnastics page updated. And then I start running out of videos, and I was like, oh crap, I need to take more videos so I can make more um shorts for her youtube and then i'm trying to cross and put some stuff on instagram of her but not all her stuff and so anyway trying to figure out all that so that's another reason why when i'm making videos i'm i gotta get all that stuff in order first before i can make a video because I'm trying to invite everybody to our beach gymnastics meet. I'm trying to invite everybody to her her plays. Invite everybody to her events at school. When she have an event at school that people can't come to, I record it so it's like a live um live event so people can watch online. So I try to keep people involved as much as possible because she's really close with her teachers. She's really close close with her old coaches. She's really close with her old like dance teachers and stuff like that. So try to keep it all in one space even though I got 80 year old aunties that I gotta still text and call the old school way it don't be working out so I was catching him up a lot of that my arm been doing and you know she started first grade <laughs> I've been so emotional about like they talk about that the other day too um started first grade um I cut back on a lot of activities I was doing at the church just cause I was just doing too much which is my norm, but I'm trying to have a new normal. I'm gonna be doing some videos on self-care because that's gonna be my focus next year. I need to do some update videos for y'all on health because I got a lot of appointments, health appointments coming up. Um, and then I need to tell y'all about some travel and I'm gonna be doing so. So, it's a lot. And I was gonna record like more on the beach trip we just did, but that was my vacation time, so. And that was, I was like, I don't want to do nothing but be on the beach, be in the water, and sleep. That's it. And so, I stuck to that and tried to keep my business not started to that Monday after. But right now, I'm on my way to my second part of my appointment, or the one I just had with my therapist. So, I go to microcurrent neurofeedback, which is, they call it MCN, where they put these little things on your head. And it sends a little current and it reignites the parts of your brain that go silent when you have been in trauma for a long time. So those little parts, like nerve endings that are going dark in your brain, it sends currents back there to get it back functioning properly and re-stimulate it to where your brain's working normally like you're not in trauma all the time. So like one of the things with my trauma is I'm hyper vigilant, so I'm always looking around for something that's dangerous. Um, I always worry about my safety. I always worry about RP safety, and it just like takes you down to more of thinking like a normal person of like, okay, well clearly you know you be safe like normal, but you don't overly stress about it kind of thing. And then I'm able to better my willpower has actually changed a lot since I started. Of like, I can tell myself, no, no, you're not gonna eat out today, you're gonna eat something at home. I could not do that before because it's just like, once I made up my mind, I couldn't, I couldn't change my mind. Anyway, that's a lot. So, we can do a video on that too. And then, um, I'm going to be, I gotta do some more errands. So, that's the thing I'm doing. They actually, I usually go to another town to do this, but they actually start doing it at our church. They don't have an office at our church, but they do it. And so I'm going to the church today because I couldn't go up there. Because I got to take Arpy to Birmingham tomorrow. And I didn't want to go to Birmingham twice. So that's that. I was trying to look for some shade. And I didn't want to go And even going up to the church, I had to bring my boot 
because my friend hurt his foot and so he um he was on crutches i was like i can bring my boot and then you won't have to use the crutch so hopefully that'll help him that kills that that task i had to do and then i need to go drop off something at a friend's house i need to go to milo's because i really want some milo's i've been wanting milo's for like a week well two weeks and i need to go to Publix and pick up all them prescriptions that the dermatologist gave me yesterday it was like seven of them and then i need to go home pick up my walmart delivery and by then it'll be time to go get rp and i'm gonna take a shower and i'm gonna go to sleep But I think about while I'm going in here, I'll think about what I'll talk about while I'm driving to those places when I get back in the car and record about something else. So I guess it could be about health since I can tell y'all about my dermatology appointment. So when I get my medicine, I can just show y'all what I actually got. And I had to order one thing I had to get, I ordered last night on the, look at this gray hair. Can y'all see that? Do you see that? I know y'all see it because I see it on this camera. Oh my gosh. I already got one like right dead here in the middle. Why I keep coming on on the edges right there like that? Disrespectful. <sighs> I'm gonna cut my hair. Cut my hair back off. So if I go ahead and tell y'all about what happened at dermatologist, I can show y'all all the prescriptions and stuff I got so and we need to talk about if y'all want a 10 minute video or if y'all want a 20 minute video or somewhere between the 15 because <laughs> I'm looking at this I'm at 12 and I'm like that's a lot to be talk talking about it's gonna end up being a long video and lately when I talk fast I get the hiccups so <laughs> 